Hi, this is Alex Designman and in this video I would like to show you one error or it's more like an inconvenience that happens many times in Katia v5 and uh, there is a simple fix to it. But in my Udemy courses I had many people asking me about uh, how to fix this error and there is a very simple fix to it in the moment you understand how the specification tree works in Katia v5. So first of all let me show you a scenario. Because once you see this scenario, you'll probably know exactly what I mean. So in here I have this blue part, which is in this body. It's in body 3. And here I have this gray part, which is in body 5. So those are in the same cut part, but there are in different bodies. And this is one thing that is done a lot when you have different materials in the same part. And here on this part, I have those four features. And I want these four features to meet this blue part here so if i go in here so those are this is like a sketch we have those four features so if you want those features to meet the part you just go here you do up to surface but when i click on the surface it doesn't let me because this uh, surface is belonging to a different body so it's not belonging to the current body so what i do here the most simple things and fastest you just switch to generative shape design and from here, I make sure I'm in this body, body 5, you see here. And I click on the blue surface. Offset, I make an offset of 0. Okay, so now I have acquired this surface inside this body here. So next I go back to part design. I make sure I'm in body 5 because this is where I'm going to work. So when I go here, what I would like to do is to do up to surface, but... You notice that the surface just disappeared, so it's not here. So if I do up to surface and I see it here on the specification tree, but it doesn't even let me choose it. And it says impossible to select because it's located after the feature pad 20. And you might be thinking, okay, what is the problem with this? Why, why is this a problem? This is the way the specification tree works. So Pad 20 can only use data like a geometry that was created before Pad 20. And that's why you get this uh, error. And if I remember well, this wasn't an issue on older Katia v5 versions. I assume this is something new, but probably they changed it because it's probably better for the software. So the software is more stable when uh, it has this rule. So the first thing that uh, we like to do here is to move this offset before pad 20. So that's why we can right click here, go here and do reorder. So now I see I have pad 20 and I do reorder offset 1 before and I click on pad 20. So reorder offset 1 before pad 20. Click OK. So now you see that this is the second issue that uh, some students have uh, asked me about so they said okay i'm moving that feature but now they all disappear so what's happening what's going on now well if you see here you see that pad 19 it's underlined and you should know if you work with katia before that underline means that is defined as in work object so what i can do here is go to body 5 and define this as a in work object or i can go to the last feature which is span 20 but this doesn't matter if you go to body 5 that's okay so now it uncovers all the feature in the body 5 i don't know exactly why when you do this it goes to even a older feature and it defines that as a in the work object but it doesn't matter as long as we can uh, fix this so now we have the offset before pad 20 I can go here, I can select up to surface, I can select the surface or I can go here in the specification tree. So now my feature goes exactly where it needs to go. And now I can just go here, right click, and I'm going to hide this so it doesn't show here on the screen. But as you can see, my features, they now go right there. And there is a link between our offset surface and the uh, the blue part which is in a different body so if you modify the blue part this is going to update automatically if you want that if you don't want that you just right click 
on this offset object and you isolate it. So you just isolate it. So now it's just a surface that you have it as a support for the, those features here. So if this suffers any modification, you're going to have to create another offset of the new surface, replace that in the future. And after that, you delete the old surface. So this is one of the scenarios where different parts, they disappear from the view, even if you have them on the specification tree. So mainly it's about ordering and defining work object. And I'm going to try in future videos to make uh, different scenarios because this uh, issue appears in uh, quite a few scenarios. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.